She had to burn all her documents and could not use her own identity. But that didn't stop her from empowering 5,000 girls. Here's how. At just 18 years old, in Kabul, Lamar Zalagran founded a non-profit teaching STEM, coding, and English to Afghan girls who are denied education. Then the Taliban took over. Overnight, everything got shattered. But from a safe house, she kept classes running online, still mentoring students who risked punishment just for wanting to learn. Can you imagine that? And when she tried to leave Afghanistan in 2022, they denied her boarding because she had no male chaperone. So she escaped alone under cover of the night, reached the Pakistani border, and flew to Qatar. After a year in Qatar, she finally made it to Kentucky to study. But now her organization was an ocean away. And that's when we stepped in with the funding and a global network to keep her mission alive from halfway across the world. And I'm happy to announce that recently, Empowering Afghan Women awarded its 5,000th certificate of completion. That's 5,000 Afghan women and girls who now have a fighting chance at learning. As Lamar says in her own world, every girl who learns is a victory for us. Now, here's the thing. You might think you need millions or the government to influence people to make a difference. You actually don't. For example, we're funding hundreds of student leaders like Lamar with support starting at just $1. Students fighting censorship on their campuses, in their countries, young entrepreneurs challenging occupational licensing laws. I don't know. Advocates pushing back against government overreach. If you want to help them go further, comment, support, and we'll send you the donation link.